Hey, how's it going? Welcome back to another episode of the Duo Group Iron Man. In the last video, I did over 500 Zora KC to try and get a new drop, and unfortunately, I did not get any new drops. I got a lot of dupes though, including a third jar of Swamp, and I also hit 700 million total XP. I haven't really done any Varlamore content. I made a video doing like random fun facts in Varlamore just from running around, but I haven't actually tried out anything there. All we did was just get uh, one of the quests done, but there's still three more quests to do. Yeah, the Twilight's Promise quest was the only Varlamore quest we've done so far, which unlocked the teleport to Fortis. And the thing I want to try out, or at least start off this video by trying out, is the Hunter's Rumors. These are essentially like farming contracts, but for Hunter. It's like, uh, if we got the Artisan skill, this is kind of what it would have been like for Hunter. So we're going to take our bird over to this place, and there's a Max Cape Teleport, but you have to unlock it. So let's try Oh wait, no, that's the wrong <laughs> I have- <laughs> it's, uh, wait, I don't even know which one it is. This one, yeah because it's the big tree. Okay, there, we have to unlock the teleport from the max cape. Right now, if I check the max cape options, uh, there's no hunter's guild. If I go to other teleports, if I go maybe Chinchampas, there's no hunter's guild in there. So I have to talk to the guildmaster Apatura. Is that a skill cape you have with you? Yeah, you have the hunter cape as well. It doesn't have to be the max cape. Uh, would you like me to enhance it with the ability to teleport directly to the guild? Yes, Plox. And now let's see where the option is. Other teleports. Chinchampas, there we go, Hunter's Guild, and this will take us to the center in the middle of the tree. And this is very convenient because if we go down the stairs, this is where all the Hunter contract people are. And there's different tiers of the contracts or the rumors. There's Adept, Expert. Uh, the ones that I want to do though is gonna be Master, but in order to be able to do these Master ones, have to do the At First Light Quest. If I try to get rumor, don't have permission. Spook Dog's been doing these rumors the last couple days. She doesn't have the hunter level for these master ones, so she hasn't had to do the quest, but because she's already doing the hunter stuff in the first place and I want to do the hunter stuff, we're gonna go do this quest together. After this video is recorded, there was an update or two that changed a lot of things about the hunter rumors, and I'll throw in little edits to show the changes as the video progresses. So even though some of the things I said at the time of recording this video have quickly gone out of date, I think it's cool to have these things in video form is like historical evidence to show what this content was like before a bunch of quality of life changes. And the first thing I want to mention before we jump in is later on it was figured out that expert rumors I think are the meta, I'm pretty sure, but throughout this video I'll be doing master rumors. There's a bunch of new items that have come out with Varlamore, so I'm gonna try to make as much bang space as possible so I don't have to worry about constantly trying to empty things out or drop new items that I may need later on. Dialogue is so good. Nice. It's so weird completing a quest, but not getting the quest cape from completing it. It's so rare that multiple quests come out at once. Sweet, so I'll get the first rumor now. Let's see what we get. Kebit. Dashing Kebit. It's so cool seeing people hunt these creatures that were like never hunted before because there's no reason to. I kind of thought the way this was going to work would be like you have to hunt X amount of a creature, but no, the way it actually works is that you have a random chance of getting a rare item from the monster. Or not rare, but it's like a, a special item that's not on the normal loot table. You get these three guaranteed items every time from the dashing kebits, but there's a special fourth item you can only get when you're on a rumor contract thing. Wow, that was really fast. That was like not even one full inventory worth. So I got the green message in the chat box, and then from here I can just use the teleport back to the Hunter Guild. And this is unlimited teleports, it's not five per day like you have with the Chin teleports. And actually, interestingly, there's I think it's a bug with the uh, Chinchampa teleports because you only get five per day, but if you use up those five, you're not able to teleport to the Hunter Guild. But I'm sure by the time you're seeing this video that will have been fixed. We'll bring this special item over to the contract person. We get a hunter XP drop, and then we get the hunter's loot sack. And it looks like they're stackable too. Normally, if it was like any other video, I would just stack up a bunch of these and open them all at once at the end. But in the Hunter's Guild collection log, there's a Guild Hunter's outfit. And when you have the full outfit equipped, it increases the catch rate of hunter creatures by 2.5% and increases the chance of receiving rare creature parts from the rumors by 5%. So definitely want to get this outfit ASAP. It's kind of like doing Winter Toad. You want to open the crates as soon as possible, at least until you get your uh, fire making set because it helps you do the activity if you plan to do the activity a bunch more. So anyways, here's the first thing. I did not get any uniques, but that was fun. That was fast. 
and I'll keep doing more rumors. The loot tracker says that this stuff is worth 60k in GE value. Wait, I thought these were hydro bones. Wait, the sun did what to my what now? See, when I was doing the hunter kit spell, I kept all these items, thankfully, and now I actually have a use for it, so I don't have to go out of the way to buy these items. I need a teasing stick for this. It's so cool hunting this new creature, Moonlight Antelopes. With these deadfall traps here, you don't have to uh, chop the logs. You can just use a knife to get the logs from the tree. You can just spam click the tree. You don't have to wait to chop them like you do with other trees. That's so cool. I got a moonlight moth task. So first thing I have to do, if I can right click one, we'll tag them all, switch the tag style to hole, and then we'll catch one here and we'll make the left click be release. So I can just left click. I'll make it easier. I just realized I don't need jars to catch these, do I? It would just be like an instant release. So I wouldn't have to empty them each time. Uh, I want to see if I can still get the, the rare piece from them, though, without having the jars. Yes, the answer is yes, you can still get the piece without having the jars, so save yourself the extra time and clicks and don't bring the jars with you. Unless you want to keep them because they restore prayer. I was looking at my run energy and it turns out when you catch the sunlight moths, it restores it a little bit. So when you're running around catching these, you'll never run out of run. Oh, there's herbivore tasks. That kind of sucks because I have the pet already, so I don't want to have to do herbivore. I think I can talk to a different master to get a different task, maybe. But I'd rather stick with the master rumors to get the best loot. I never thought I'd be back to hunting herbivore in this account. Uh, whatever the last one that I caught was, that was the KC I got it on. So I got it at 19. 1909. So unless you get the Hunter's Guild collection log complete, then until that point, that means that the Herbivore and Chinchampa pets are kind of like passive pets to get. We don't know the drop rates of the Hunter Guild pet as of the time of recording this, but I would imagine that on average you would get this pet before you get the Herbivore and the Chin pet. Like you never know, you could get lucky with one of these pets while you're on the Hunter rumor. Man, I have to hop so many worlds to try and find an empty spot. I mean, I'm kind of just getting started, but I imagine for a lot of different uh, creatures, it's going to be like this, especially considering how new the whole hunter rumor thing is. I'm going to switch the left click on the rumor person to be rumor. I completed a moonlight antelope rumor. I turned in the thing, got a new one, and I got moonlight antelope again. So if you were wondering, you can get the same rumor back to back. This is rumor number 10, which means I'm guaranteed to get a basic Ketzal, uh blueprint. Oh, okay, I have to claim it from the top of the Hunter Guild. If we talk here, I can get a free basic whistle blueprint. And then if I craft that, now I have the basic Ketzal whistle, which is not in the collection log. With the whistle, you can charge it up with raw meat that you get. Can I use it on there? Oh, I need to. Well, wait, there's this recharge whistle. Oh. Okay, that works too. The higher level piece of meat that you use, the more charges that you get. And you can use the charges to teleport. I don't know, if, is that signal? Okay, I have to teleport out of here because you can't use it if you're already at the Hunter Guild. But check out with the teleport animation. You're calling the Kate Zell with the whistle. That's so cool. It's an awesome teleport. Now with the basic whistle, it only holds up to five charges, but I'll be able to upgrade it later on. But also because I have the Hunter Cape slash Max Cape, I'm not gonna have to use it for teleports. I saw these other options on here, uh, or this other option, Rumor. I don't know what this does. What, oh, is that just like checking um, like what your task is or what your rumor is, like using the enchanted gem or the slayer helm? If I grab a rumor, ah, uh, herbivore, uh, okay, and then we check, or not check, rumor. That's really cool, because there were a couple times where I got a task and I was questioning, like, am I at the right creature? But I didn't feel like coming back here to check what my task was. So if nothing else, this is at least useful to have on me to check what my rumor is. Although I'd imagine very shortly, or probably well before this video comes out, there's going to be a Runelite plugin, or multiple Runelite plugins probably, to help with doing rumors. Imagine a Runelite plugin where you get a rumor, you go to your bank and open it up, and it just automatically shows you whatever item or items that you need for that specific task. If you need like a, a knife or a teasing stick or a box trap or whatever. I would also humbly request that Jagex add a right click option to get a bird for the Kebbits rather than having to go through this dialogue each time. Pyre Foxes. I've been waiting for this because I've only heard bad things about them, so I want to try it out for myself and see if it's actually as bad as people say. Surely it's got to be everyone else that's wrong. First thing I notice is that every single world is filled with so many people. I have to hop around just to find the world. First thing, I have the Candor and Headgear on, which will guarantee I get two logs per chop. And then I think I can only set up one trap at a time, can't I? Because I only see everyone else using one. 
Yeah, okay. I was looking at the wiki page for the Piker Foxes, and there's some pretty crazy strats on here. If you go down to the bottom, it says you can use the fox furs to make the small meat pouches and then high elk them for 1800 GP each. Uh, I'm personally not going to be doing that because, oh, I got one, because I don't care for like slightly more GP. But what I do want to do is the other thing on here, which is it says to use the southern spot. While you wait for the catch, mine iron at the deposits next to it the deposites next to it, and use superheat item to create iron bars, then drop or high elk the iron bars. That is a crazy strat. And this might be the only Pyrefox task that I do, but I'll just do it for now. Look at me go, man. The mining XP, the smithing XP, the magic XP. Wait, it's only, was that only 12 smithing XP? 12.5 smithing XP. You need four pieces of fox fur to make this small meat pouch. And with this, I can store 14 pieces of meat. I can upgrade it again into a large meat pouch once I get three sunlight antelope furs. It wasn't too bad, I guess, but it was a lot of idle downtime where it felt like nothing I do can possibly make this any faster. So I'm gonna try, okay, I haven't talked about this yet, but there is a way to make sort of a block list for hunter rumors. From what I understand about these, cause I haven't tried it yet, but um, there is a way to have a block list and you could look on the wiki, it'll tell you what each master or what each person can assign of uh, the different tiers. I believe you can have multiple rumors going at the same time. Like you can have a rumor from each uh, person here concurrently. At the end of the day though, I only want to be doing or grinding out the mastered level ones. And this is the list of the masters right here. The yes means I can get assigned these monsters. Uh, and the only one that I really don't want to get is Pyrefoxes. And every single one of the people assign pyre foxes. Red salamanders actually sound like they'd be kind of annoying too. And the trick here is that if you have a rumor going from one of the guild hunters, you cannot get assigned that same rumor from another guild hunter. So the goal is to get assigned pyre foxes from any of the other guild hunters except for the master. Uh, and then I could just go back to doing the master rumors. So let's see if I can get... It's that easy! <laughs> it is that easy. Uh, let me just double check. I can actually still get a, a rumor, right? Wait, yes, okay. Now if I go back to this person, wait, 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 I can go back and forth between them. Oh, okay, yeah, wait, I think it's working because they asked me to hunter pyre fox and I go back to here and I switch back to this one. Okay, it, it, yes, it is, it should be working. I should never get assigned to pyre fox from the master tier. And from the expert tier, I'm gonna see real quick, there's a chance I could get red salamander. So let's see if we can get that on the block list. Oh, that is perfect, dude. I got red salamanders and pyre foxes blocked now. Wow, I can't believe that both of those just happened first try. So now we go back to here and I got my chins again. Wow. So I'm so glad that that worked out. I don't have to do any of these other level tiers. One last thing I want to add on about these rumors. Uh, from what I understand, because I haven't tried this yet, but from what the wiki says, it sounds like from the novice uh, hunt master, this person, you can get novice tasks, but there's another thing where he, he can like reset all your tasks across all masters, but then you're forced to do whatever task he assigns you. But then you'd be able to like reset all these and try for the pyre foxes again. But I believe resetting all your rumors is different than just getting a novice rumor from him. When you're hunting the moonlight antelopes and your inventory is getting full, what you can do is bring a chisel with you and use a chisel on these antlers and then you can make them into the bolts. So that way they'll stack in your inventory. I don't know if these have a use for Iron Man, but I like seeing numbers stack up, so I'm gonna do it. With how many people have seemed to be complaining about the Pyre Foxes though, I wouldn't be surprised if Jagex does something to like make them easier to hunt or so that they're faster, or maybe it's like make it more common to get the unique drop from them. So all this hard work and effort I put in to explain and make the block list will have been for nothing. Is this a new tick manipulation thing? If you have the one antler in your inventory, then you can do that thing that people do with like teak logs. Whoa, what's that? Enhanced Kate Zell whistle blueprint. I thought you had to complete like 25 or 50 rumors. It is tradable. It's worth 12k. Yeah, it says here this is the thing that you get when you complete 100 hunters rumors, but I guess you, it's like guaranteed at 100. But you can still get it as a drop beforehand though, it seems. Uh, so can I just craft 
And now I have the enhanced gate style whistle. It looks like the only difference between this one and the basic version is that the previous one only held five charges. This one holds up to 20 charges. But again, because I have the hunter cape slash max cape, I don't think I'll be using any charges anyways. First time getting sunlight antelopes and with three of the sunlight antelope furs, I can craft the large meat pouch. So this upgrades it from 14 slots up to 28 slots. These are pretty cool because you're guaranteed to get Sunfire Splinters from them for every single one, which is also my first time getting them on the account. And these have a lot of uses. You use them to charge up Dizana's Quiver, this thing, create Sunfire Runes and variants, uh, Searing Page, I didn't know that was a thing. Send upgrade to Burnt Pages and then uh, the Jugs of Sunfire Wine for prayer training. Okay, this sounds and looks really fake, but there is legit a new type of rune called a Sunfire Rune. It's so weird, I never really thought about that, but like adding a new rune just seems like... Whoa. I guess they added Wrath Runes a few years ago too, and that was like pretty whoa. And this rumor I just turned in was number 25. There, I thought there might be some kind of pop-up message, but there was not. But if you go on the wiki, it tells you that at certain milestones for number of rumors, you will unlock certain things. 25 is the ability to cook these types of meats. And all these new meats that just came out, they have a new effect. It's like a heal over time type of thing. Like for this cooked moonlight antelope, it heals 14. But then after three seconds, it heals an additional 12 and cures one poison too. I'm still in the middle of being sick and I think I'm starting to lose my voice. Like I had to re-record all the pretty much all the clips in this video, including this one multiple times to hopefully get this one right. <clears throat> but that's why I want to get set up to do Hunter with these new uh, Hunter rumors because now that I'm set up, I don't have to talk much and it's just a really chill activity that I think can tide me over for the next couple days while I relax. I'm giving Spook Dog all my Kate Saul feed because you need 40 to build all the landing things and Spook Dog was making a video on building all the landing things. Uh, she said she'd pay me back, but it doesn't really matter because I'll be able to get another 40 within like a day or two of doing this. This one's going to give me a virtual herb lore level of 100. Ooh, I just got the Huntsman or Huntsman's Kit. Spooktor just got that not too long ago. It allows you to store these items in it. However, these items cannot be used while they're in there. You do have to take them out if you want to use them. And this is also the first collection log slot I've gotten since doing the Hunter's Rumors. This is pain. I've hopped so many worlds trying to find a Teku Salamander open spot. There's only five of them, I believe, in the whole game. So there can really only be one person per world uh, hunting these, and I've hopped like dozens and dozens of worlds and I can't find any. I finally found the world, and within a minute of getting here, I've already seen three people hop <laughs> into the world. This is insane. It is Saturday today, or no, Sunday. Wow, I've lost track of days. So there's like over 140k people online at the moment. Almost 150k, actually. If you get the rare item and your inventory is full, then the rare item will drop onto the ground. So just make sure before you teleport out that you actually get it. Otherwise, you'll be panicking and trying to get back as fast as possible. But you should always be able to make it back in time anyways unless you're really stalling. Wow, I got another Huntsman's kit. I don't know what I'm going to do with dupes of them. I have not built any of the Kate's All landing sites. This will be the first one. I really want to build this one because it's kind of annoying getting to the Teku Salamanders. They're a bit out of the way. So now I can travel back and forth right here. And uh, yeah, I'm not looking forward to finding the world. There's like 155k people online right now. This is rumor number 50 and we all know what happens at rumor number 50. We get a new thing unlocked. Wait, where was it? I just saw it. Oh, here we go. We can now cook these things. And also while I was scrolling down this page, I saw that there's a fur pouch too. I should maybe try to find out how to make this. For the lowest tier one, we need four Larupia furs. So now we have the small fur pouch that holds 14. For the medium pouch, we need three Grok furs. We'll make that. And this one holds 21. And for the final tier of the pouch, for the large pouch, we need three Kayat furs. And this one holds 28. At the moment, there's not really too much of a use for furs. Like, there's armor sets you can make out of them, but I think that's it. And it's not really something you would make in bulk, at least as an Iron Man. But if they added a fur pouch into the game, it kind of makes me think that in the future there will be more use for furs, but who knows, maybe it will just be dead content and we'll have to wait and see. I don't think there's an autofill option, like as you get them, I think you have to manually click on it to deposit them, because there's no open or close on here.
With these pouches, when you empty them, it doesn't empty them into the bank, it empties them into your inventory. So what you can do is swap the left click to empty, and that'll make it a bit easier. You can even swap the left click on these too, to be deposit all if you want to. And then same thing with these, left click, deposit all, left click, left click. Something I didn't even think about to do until now is to bring the bone crusher with me. After getting these two, I'm like, wait, I could also get rid of the bones too. So when I get that, so now I get the prayer XP and I could put both those in the bag and I don't really have too much to worry about. I can make those into the bolts too. So, and not much inventory space being taken up. Wow, I, <laughs> I accidentally clicked on this and the left click is the teleport option. So I definitely want to change the left click to be rumor so I can check my task. Oh, another perfect. Oh, wait, that's the highest tier one, isn't it? Perfected Kate Saul. This one makes the highest tier of the whistle, the perfected Kate Saul whistle. Let's craft that. And this holds up to 50 charges for teleports. The wiki says that at 250 rumors, you can claim an untradeable variant of it, which is guaranteed then. I don't know what the drop rate is, though, of getting it from those reward sacks. I don't know if I got lucky or not, but I got it at 55. Every time I get an upgrade to any of these items, I have to like update it in here. So I go through the uh, antelopes and update that. And yeah, but I, I'm getting very close to the point now where all my inventory setups should be perfected pretty soon. That's crazy, dude. I keep seeing these level threes that have basically no stats except like 70 or 80-ish hunter catching these moonlight mobs. So within a few days of release of Varlamore, there's already bot farms for some of these hunter creatures. Very important milestone, 2,000 herbivore. No way. Whoa, that's crazy. What are the odds of randomly seeing wild torchic? Ooh, we got some big news about this rumor I just finished. That was number 100. Let's open that up and we can look at the stats now. Looking at my Hunter XP per hour I gained today, it was a bit over 100k XP per hour, but we'll just round it down to 100k. So 100k XP per hour, and the total Hunter XP I gained doing this was a bit over 1.6 mil. And by the way, I've not done a single birdhouse run this video. So 100k XP per hour gained 1.6 mil XP, means that it took me 16 hours to get to 100 contracts. And so if I did 100 contracts in 16 hours, that is an average of about just over six contracts or rumors per hour. And this means that from each rumor, I gained about 16K Hunter XP. Although you get a, or I was getting a 6.2K Hunter XP drop when I turned it in. So from doing the actual Hunter, I would get on average 10K XP plus 6K XP from turning it in. And at 100 rumors, you can get the untradeable version of uh, this blueprint, but already have it so it doesn't matter. And here's what the collection log looks like from 100 Rumors. I've only gotten the Huntsman's kits, not a single piece of the outfit yet. And last thing I'll show is the loot tracker from doing these. Uh, four of them weren't tracked for some reason. I'm trying to be very particular when I open them of like trying to not one tick them with another action at the same time, but a few of them still uh, fell through the cracks, I guess. And a couple more fun facts from just the loot sacks alone, not including what I got during the actual task, I would have averaged 40k GP per loot sack or per rumor. And this also means that from doing the 100 contracts, I earned 2.5 GP per XP. And yeah, if you want to figure out any of these other ones, you could just divide them by 100 to figure out the amount that you would get on average per loot sack doing these masters. I'm going to go back to doing Hunter though, I'm losing my voice, so <laughs> hopefully I can just chill for a couple more days and get some more Hunter XP and hopefully get some more uniques. Okay, bye, I love you. Oh, dude, I'm trolling. I found out where the missing loot sacks went. They were in the bank. <laughs> I just didn't open them. I would just deposit them in there and not open them. So let's get a massive loot opening here. I don't want to open them on the same tick because like I said before. Yeah, cool. Okay, awesome. So now the 102 matches up. They did not go missing. I was trying to release all them and I saw I equipped it. Instead, I got the first, or my first uh, Teku Salamander because normally they're all the immature ones. Okay, they're not worth much, but it's taken me this much Hunter XP worth of rumors to get one. Here's the stats of the Black Salamander. And then the Teku Salamander is the new best Salamander in the game. So if you want to look back and forth, you can compare the stats. It would have been nice if that existed when I did the Muspa Salamander only task. But, oh, there is still the Kriara task with the Salamander. I haven't done that yet. So, you know, like I always say, the meta with this game is to log out and wait for it to get easier. And look at that, a virtual hunter level 109. 
which is 30, just over 35 mil XP. We got a big opening here. Let's see. Oh, I finally got the first piece. 191 rumors. I got the uh, headgear, the headwear. Let's see if I can get another one from this opening, please. Oh, wait. Okay. Wow. I can't believe it took that long to get one. I've been doing this for probably like 30 hours, right? Yeah. 30 hours to get the first piece. I feel like in an update, they're gonna make these more common. So it almost feels like I might've like wasted a lot of time doing these now, but that's fine. We got, we got, we got a piece. I was legit starting to think that I had to like talk to someone or do something. When you wear it, it increases the catch rate of hunter creatures by 0.4% and increases the chance of receiving the rare part when you're doing rumors by question mark percent. <laughs> The easiest way to guarantee that you're about to finish an herbivore contract is to drink a sip of stamina right before you harvest it, and then, then you'll get the rare piece and be done. This one puts me at rumor number 200. It's currently Tuesday, which means the game updates tomorrow, and I'm feeling a lot better, by the way. I'm still kind of sick, but definitely uh, coming down from the peak at this point. But I'm going to set the end point for this video to be at 300 rumors. So that'll get me uh, past the game update tomorrow. And I assume there's going to be a lot of changes that's going to make the hunter rumors easier. So we could uh, take a look at those changes, do a little bit more tomorrow, and then wrap up. Then I'll be feeling a lot healthier and active and ready to go and play the game more. Oh, one more thing about the day today. So the RuneFest ticket sale, they go up at 5 a.m. my time. And I believe there's only going to be 2,000 total. So I'm kind of worried they're going to sell out really fast. I'm going to set my alarm to 4.58 a.m. I'm going to leave my computer on. I'll have my credit card up in front of my computer with the website open, and I'll just try to get the ticket right away. And hopefully I'll be able to fall back asleep pretty quickly because, man, 5 a.m., that's not even enough time for me to get a full REM cycle of sleep from the time that I usually go to bed at. I got another piece. No way. Two pieces in one day. Wow. We got the hat and the top. Now, halfway there. RNG is pretty crazy though, because you know it took me 30 hours to get the first piece, and then the second piece I get like two hours later. Dude, what? I did the thing. I woke up at five. I've been on the site, and it, it just said sold out since I woke up. Let me try refreshing. Oh, well, I've been trying to refresh. It just says sold out. Yeah, well, I've been refreshing constantly since uh, 5 a.m., and the tickets are just not there, and... Every once in a while they appear, so I try to click to buy one and check out, but it just says this every time. So, well, I guess that's that then. It's really annoying because I woke up at 5 a.m. to try and buy these, and I can't buy these, so that's what I get, I guess, for being three minutes late or something. I mean, it wasn't even late. It, it, I don't know, they just didn't even show up for the first three minutes. I couldn't even get to this page, and when I could get to this page, they've just been sold out the whole time, so... Ah, that sucks. Good morning. I have a few things here to show you. So here's the RuneFest page. Sold out. Now if we go over here, you can see they tweeted saying, uh, RuneFest completely sold out all 2k tickets in record time despite there being more tickets available than any previous RuneFest. I don't believe that, but okay, Microsoft thing you can... I felt like there were way more than 2,000 people at the previous RuneFest, but what do I know? That's, that's what they say here. But they're saying we are exploring options to see whether we can increase event capacity. So we'll see if that's a thing that happens. And finally, Mod Mark says, I will personally be hunting down all RuneFest ticket touts, which I means scalpers, and canceling all their bought tickets. It's unscrupulous and Jagex won't stand for it. If you see any, let me know. My king my my absolute father and then of course we also have the game update today which is mainly about varlamore updates and there's a lot in here to go over i'm not going to go over all these but maybe just a couple of the notable ones players can now toggle receiving duplicate hunter rumors that means back-to-back -back rumors and it says it's on by default, but you can change it now. Personally, I really like getting the back-to-back -back hunter rumors because I don't have to change my gear and inventory loadout. Maybe for some of the slower ones, like I feel like herbivore is kind of slower, so maybe I would turn it off when I get an herbivore or when I just finish an herbivore rumor. But I think generally I would be happy to keep that on. It looks like they made pyrefoxes easier, so maybe they are possibly worth doing now. I didn't even know Sunfire Splinters were on the collection log, but I guess next time I get uh, some like Antelope task, I'll get that slot in the log filled out. And a lot of general quality of life stuff, like reducing the respawn timers, 
making more trees, choppable, removing bushes, which would be a good time for a sponsor placement right here, but we don't have one. There's a master clue step that required you to do the Fortis salute, which you had to unlock from the Colosseum, which I think was like kind of more difficult to get. Um, but now they changed that. You just have to do a normal salute, which everyone has that emote. And yeah, I'm gonna get back to Hunter and we'll finish up getting to 300 rumors. So the way to enable them, let's see how fast this is. So I have to right click settings, and then, oh, and oh, was it, wait, it was disabled by default. Okay, let's enable. Okay, and then if I right click again, okay. It's not too bad to do. It's not too far of a run back and forth between these two. Near the end of the day yesterday, I started saving up the sacks because I thought maybe they'd make some update that would uh, make the loot better, but I did not see, oh, another piece. I did not see anything in the uh, update post that said that there would be better loot from these, so. Gonna open them now and see if we can pull the final piece. I'm so glad to see that. Oh, no way. I just had one left. Wow. Yes, the full set's complete. That's awesome. It took me like 190 to get the first piece and then an additional 50-ish to get the remaining three pieces. That's so good. I forgot I might have said it earlier in this video, but just to remind you slash reiterate, your catch rate gets increased by 2.5% and then the rare part from Hunter Rumors is increased by 5% when you're wearing the outfit. Wait, since I got all this stuff done, that means really the only reason for me to keep doing Rumors is going for the pet. Should I, should I just stop now? Uh, uh, well, I guess 300 would look clean for the title and thumbnail, so. I'll keep going to 300. Hey, the Hunter plugin got the timers added for the Tekyu Salamanders before it did not have these little pie things on here. So if the math is correct, when I harvest this Sunlight Antelope, I should get a collection log slot, Sunfire Splinters, first time getting it, except it's not the first time getting it. And finally, this is it, the last one, number 300, right there in the chat box. I didn't open any more loot sacks after I finished the outfit set from that last opening, cause I was going to 300 either way, whether or not I get the pet, so I figured may as well hold on to them. So I had 55 to open at the end here. I suppose since I have you captive here, I'm supposed to plug the streams. So if you wanna check me out when I live stream, it's twitch.tv slash wild underscore mudkip. If you take a look at the XP tracker, I gained about 4.3 million hunter XP throughout this video, which for reference, that's like one third of the way to getting a 99. That means I spent about 40 hours doing rumors for this video. With today's update, they changed the name of the loot sacks from the rumors before they were numbered like tier three but now they're just based on the name like Expert, Master. So that means in Runelite they're tracked in two separate things. But I'll take a screenshot of the previous ones and just put it next to these on screen so you can see them all in one place. The Banked Prayer XP comes out to 350k, or if you use Sunfire Wine, it's 420k XP, which also ironically happens to be the day this video is posted. My total Hunter XP is now up to about 37.7 mil, and I also want to show the number of chins now. The total number of chins I've caught on the account is about 7,500, which is still a very long ways away from the drop rate for the pet, because the pet at level 99 for the chin pet is about one in 96,000. And here's the collection log for the Hunter Guild. I did not get the pet, but you may have noticed in that last opening that I did get a dupe piece of the legs. With all that said, you can follow my duo teammate Spook Dog's Road to Max, linked in the video description. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed, and I hope that you have a great day, and I will see you again next time.